Okay, so let's look at an example of a splitting method. Okay. So let's consider um, the following differential equation. Right. Um, basically. Uh, x and u is equal to f of x and u with the following decomposition, right, u and g of x, okay? So uh, as an example, if x was position, u was uh, velocity or momentum, uh, then you would have something which looks very similar to this. Um, and um, um, in the context of a mechanical system. So, all right, so you have a vector field, and uh, so let's look at a possible decomposition of it. So let's say F1 of X U is uh, zero G of X, right? And F2 of X U is uh, U zero. Okay, so it's easy, of course, to convince yourself that F1 plus F2 is equal to F. All right, so, so let's uh, try to uh, look at the corresponding um, splitting method, okay? So in order to construct the splitting method, I have to solve the equation which says that uh, ddt of xu is equal to zero g of x, and I also have to solve the equation which says ddt of xu is equal to u zero, all right? Uh, and then compose it. So, um, so what's happening here? Okay, so that's telling me that the time derivative of x is zero, so x doesn't change. So let's call it uh, x n plus one tilde, right, is equal to x n. Okay, all right. So, uh, so what's going to happen is that um, you know, you're going to consider this composition. It's like, and so I'm going to apply the flow map associated with this vector field first, and then the flow map associated with this vector field, right? So xn is my initial data, xn plus one tilde is what happens uh, after applying, it's like uh, just the F1 term. So, so I guess what I'm saying notationally is that xn plus one tilde and uh, un plus one tilde right, is equal to the exact flow of uh, F1 with time step H applied to Xn Un, okay? So that's basically what I'm saying here, okay? So let's see what happens. Okay, so X, uh, so after applying, um, you know, this flow, it's like X doesn't change, so Xn plus one tilde is equal to Xn, all right? Um, for the U term, it's like uh, G, Okay, there's a um, vector field component, which is g of x. x is constant along the whole thing. So it's just a, essentially a constant vector field. That's an easy thing to integrate, right? So that's saying that u tilde n plus one is equal to u n plus h times g uh, applied to x n. Okay, all right, so that's the, the first part. And then now it's like I want to, uh, I want to look at um, x n plus one and u n plus one as being equal to the uh, flow map of the second vector field F two applied to uh, what I've gotten from the first part, right? Which is x n plus one tilde uh, u n plus one tilde. Okay, so that's that's what I'm going to do here. Okay, all right. So, uh, so now it's like use the part which uh, doesn't change. Okay, so, uh, so I can just write down that u n plus one is equal to u n plus one tilde, which is equal to uh, u n plus h g of x n. Okay, so once we've uh, figured that out, it's like then, okay, x is uh, evolving, it's like uh, by this u, but u is a constant along uh, this part of the flow. Um, so um, xn plus one is equal to xn plus one tilde plus h times u, okay, but which is constant. So this is the un plus uh, g h x n term. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, so let's just call it a UN plus one. Okay. All right. Uh, and and of course x n plus one tilde is x n. Okay. So uh, so the whole thing simplifies to the condition that x n plus one is equal to x n plus h u n plus one, and then u n plus one is equal to u n plus h g uh, x n. Okay, so that's the method you get. Uh, and you can show that this is equivalent uh, to uh, sort of what is called the one-sided Euler method. So this is equivalent to the one-sided Euler method, which is given as follows, right? Xn plus one is equal to Xn plus h times f evaluated at xn un plus 1, and then un plus 1 is equal to un plus hg uh, xn un plus 1. So this is like the Euler method, the usual Euler method, except that the vector field is evaluated at the initial position and the final velocity of momentum, say, right? So, uh, and again, it's easy to convince yourself that this is uh, equivalent to this when applied to um, this uh, set of uh, differential equations. Okay, so that's one example. Um, and then uh, there's also um, uh, uh, another observation, which again relies on this decomposition. So let me just keep this decomposition. So with the same splitting, right? Okay, the leapfrog method. Can be expressed as follows. Okay, so you take a half step of the exact flow of F1 composed with a full step of the exact flow of F2 composed with a half step of the exact flow of F1 again. Okay, so this is basically uh, what is referred to as strang splitting. Okay, so this is analogous uh, to, to sort of strang splitting. For linear ODEs. So this was introduced, this is an idea introduced uh, by Gilbert Strang. Okay. All right, so you approximate the uh, exponential basically of uh, the sum of matrices, it's like by this kind of symmetric uh, splitting. So e to the h over 2 times c, e to the h times b, e to the h over 2 times c again. Okay, so, so this is analogous to this uh, with inappropriate splitting of the vector field. So let me just stop here for a minute.